Welcome to Park City, Utah. In Tastemaker Season 2, we explore some of the unexpected culinary delights that this mountain town has to offer. My name is Michael Showers. I'm the executive chef of High West Distillery and Saloon. Today we are at the Nelson Cottage. What I love about the Nelson Cottage is that we get to incorporate the most seasonal local ingredients whenever possible to provide the best guest experience to pair with our spirits. No matter what kind of dining experience you're looking for, High West has you covered. You'll find the High West Saloon, which is also the nation's only ski in and ski out distillery, just a block off Park City's bustling Main Street. Next door is the Nelson Cottage, where the brand hosts special dinners, tastings, private events, and more. I think for a chef, it's kind of a dream brand. Mountain elegance is a term that we use a lot. It's buffalo, it's quail, it's all of those things that we think that encompass the West, but we take it a step further with getting the, uh, the whiskey and the bourbon involved as much as we can. It's not just about food here. We craft a dish and we craft a cocktail simultaneously. My name's Steve Walton. I'm the Director of Beverage for High West Distillery here in Park City, Utah. So High West is the world's only ski in, ski out distillery. So you can literally ski down quit in time, pop your skis off, walk across the road, come in and grab a cocktail, shot of whiskey, some great food, and then pop those skis back on and take the town lift back out. Today, I'm cooking a uh, crispy seeded quail with a summer vegetable salad and smoked onion fried rice. I'm also cooking for you uh, grilled uh, Osgothorpe lamb T-bones with mint chimichurri, preserved lemon yogurt, and a heirloom cherry tomato salad. We go high and low. I mean, we have steaks on the menu. We have organic salmon on the menu. We, we have a burger, and we want to make sure that we're honest to our locals, that we don't ever turn our back on them because the locals are what made High West what it is today. So in the state of Utah, people have the assumption that you can't get a good cocktail, but in Utah, you can actually use an ounce and a half of base liquor and then up to an ounce of flavoring. So our base liquor in this cocktail is the American Prairie Bourbon, and then our flavoring is the Aperol and the Chenal. You can go up to a maximum of two and a half ounces, so you're really actually not getting short change when it comes to a cocktail. So what this actually does is allows us at High West and everybody in Utah to get a little bit more creative in the way that they create a cocktail. So the name actually comes from the masala curry simple syrup that we have in the cocktail. And uh, Kid Curry was actually a member of the Wild Bunch that actually used to ride with Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. So I created the cocktail because I've been wanting to put curry in a drink for quite some time. So we added the watermelon, which gives you that kind of dessert component of the curry component that is, would be the entree if you were dining in an Indian restaurant. So those really kind of curry flavors come through and they really react well with the, with the watermelon. Uh, we added a little bit of Aperol and Chenal for a bittering component that basically goes against the, the sweet component that we have in the, the curry simple syrup. And the base of this cocktail is an ounce and a half of the American Prairie Bourbon. Our, our dining is, is second to none, it, it truly is. We really set ourselves apart because we offer something that no one else in Park City can offer. But I'm very proud to be part of the food and beverage situation in Park City as I feel it's, it's some of the best around.